What is the perfect focal length for street photography with a Leica M camera? Is it 24, 28, 35, maybe 50 millimeters? As a constantly curious and creative person, I wondered how street photography would work when using the Epon 90mm on my M10R. I have been working on this video for quite some time now and I never finished it because I could not find the final answer to the question whether the 90mm M is a street photography lens or not. Before I answer this question, I want to talk about the lens and why I got it very early on in my Leica M journey. When I came to Leica, I was mostly an autofocus shooter. Coming from movie making, I love long lenses, not only for close-ups, but also for wide shots, because if you have the right location, it can be easier to direct the viewer's attention to a specific point in the frame. But I struggled with this kind of use on the M camera, because focusing a long lens with a rangefinder camera can be very demanding, at least for me. The other reason why I got it is, of course, portrait shooting. And for that, I love it. But again, it's demanding to focus when shooting with an open aperture with an F2. I sometimes cheat a bit and I use a Visoflex or I put it on my SL2, then it's easier to focus. Let's talk about the technical specs. The lens is made in Germany. Leica says the exact focal length is 19.9 mm. It has five lens elements. It has a minimal focusing distance of one meter and goes up to infinity. The filter thread is 55 mm. It's 78 mm long, the largest diameter is 64 mm and it weighs exactly 500 grams. So let's look at the lens. It comes out of the box in this beautiful leather pouch. And then you have for an M lens this a little bit bigger lens of course because it's a 90 mm but still for a 90 mm lens it is very small. Of course, because of the weight, because of its 500 grams, it feels very solid. It feels heavy, actually, for an M lens, but it feels fantastic. On all my Leica lenses, I use a protective UV filter. Here I have one from Leica as well. It's a 55, E55 filter thread. Sometimes I take it off to avoid ghosting. I also like the lens hood. You can just pull it out and then it's there. It's, you cannot take it off. It's fixed on the lens. And when I put it away, I put the lens cap on and then I move the lens hood up so the filter is covered and it looks like there's no filter on it at all. And if you take away the lens cap, the filter is still covered. And yeah, I just use it this way because I think it looks better, but you won't see it in the, in the final picture. So let's put the lens on the camera. I have here my M10R. Having it on the camera in my hand, because also the M10R is it's not a light camera, it's also a heavy camera, but I, I really like the feel of it. It's actually very well balanced, even though it's a heavy lens. The weight is a little bit tilting forward, but if you hold it like this, it's absolutely no problem. I really think it's beautiful and I feel very comfortable holding it. Because it's heavy, even though it's a longer lens, you have a very good grip on it and you can it's it's very stable the aperture ring has a beautiful click i hold it closer to the mic when you change aperture you also have in between stops the focusing ring is just a ring it has no little grip thing like the 35 or the 50 have Regular viewers of my channel know that I do not keep gear I do not use. So because it's a portrait lens, it mostly stays home when I do not shoot portraits, which is very sad. So I thought to myself, is it also a street photography lens? Honestly, I like the results, at least the good ones. It takes a bit more practice and you need to allow yourself to fail a bit more than when shooting a 28 or 35 mm. Of course, if the object is not moving, it is really fun the moment you find a composition you like. When I had moving object, it was sometimes very difficult to really get the composition I wanted and to get the focus exactly at the point where I wanted it to be. 
I started using reference points. For example, a car, a post or some street lines. I focused on that and then waited until the moving subject was exactly at that height or that distance. This actually works pretty well because thanks to the rangefinder window, you see the subject coming. Then it's only a question of timing to hit the exact moment you want. I also tried it with zone focusing, which of course does not help that much when using a long lens. Setting the aperture for example to f11 and then put infinity on 11 gives you a range from about 8.5 meters to of course infinity, which will be in focus. I'm not going deep into zone focusing here. If you're interested in zone focusing, check out my rangefinder video. I will link it at the end of this video. After trying reference points and zone focusing, in the end, of course, I got a little bit more risky and just tried to hit the focus by heart. This works sometimes and when it does, it makes you very happy. So to answer the question if the 90mm M lens can be a street photography lens, I can say, for me, yes, absolutely. It's a little bit more demanding, but when you don't put yourself under pressure, it can be very rewarding. Please let me know how you use the 90mm and I would be very happy to have some tips on how I can be faster and more precise with my focus when shooting moving objects with the Apple 90mm M. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to avoid missing future videos on photography, movie making, storytelling and of course Leica. I see you in the next one. Stay curious. And if you are interested in zone focusing, check out my rangefinder video here. Or if you're interested in my fascination for the Leica Q3, check out this video.